This footage was taken at an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico in 2008. Eerie as it is, it's actually the extremely rare and incredibly beautiful Blanket Octopus. Today's episode, we're going to look at what I consider three of the most amazing cephalopods in the ocean. G'day folks and welcome to the Wow Factor. Let's get into it. Trem octopus, or blanket octopus, is a genus of cephalopod that occupies surface to mid-waters in tropical and subtropical oceans, mainly in and around coral reefs. They are known for the long transparent webbing that connects the dorsal and dorsolateral arms of the adult female. The other arms lack webbing and are much shorter. Some interesting facts about this incredible animal. When threatened, the female unfurls the luminescent blanket, greatly increasing her size. She can also detach it as a decoy when escaping from a predator, just like the drop-tailed lizard. And, like many other octopus species, she uses ink to intimidate potential predators. The blanket octopus is immune to the Portuguese man-of-war, just like a certain species of sea slug. Male and immature females rip off the venomous tentacles and use them for offensive and defensive purposes. Now, sexual dimorphism is seen in other creatures such as the Australian redback spider and the orb weaver. The size and mass of the two sexes is considerable, but none compare more to the blanket octopus. The female can measure up to two meters or over six and a half feet in length, whereas the males, well, at 2.4 centimeters or one inch, they're not much bigger than the female redback spider. Coming up shortly is another rare cephalopod species, Cirithorma magna. But first, let's take a look at one of the cutest creatures in the ocean. The bobtailed squid, also known as the stubby squid owing to their round mantle. Closely related to cuttlefish, these little cephalopods are quite small. The males are typically between 1 and 8 centimetres in length. Found in shallow coastal waters and, like cuttlefish, they can swim by either using the fins on their mantle or by jet propulsion. The incredible camouflage adaptation of this small creature is the ability to cloak itself using bioluminescent bacteria which inhabit special light organs in the squid's mantle. A solution of sugar and amino acid is fed to the bacteria by the squid. The luminescent properties of the bacteria regulate gene expression in the light organ. This amazing trick of nature hides the squid's silhouette when viewed from below by matching the amount of light striking the top of the mantle. This example of camouflage is called counter-illumination. If you want to see more interesting camouflage techniques, I'll pop a link to another video in the description below. Now, not much is known about the next amazing creature. It's quite rare and rarely been filmed. In this almost surreal looking landscape, we find a gelatinous blob that is about to get a little surprise. This shape-shifting creature belongs to the cirate family of octopuses known as Cirrochuthidae. According to cephalopod expert Mike Vecchioni, this footage here may be a juvenile Cirrothorma magna. Cirrothorma magna, also known as the Big Eye Jellyhead, is a species of cirrate octopus that has been found in the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans.
It is believed to be the largest species of cirrate octopus. This specimen is believed to be an adult female. They are a deep water creature and are also believed to be benthopelagic, meaning they tend to drift around at about 10 metres or 33 feet above the sea floor. They were first described in the 19th century, but still remain today poorly understood. Thanks for dropping in today, folks. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you give that like button a whack and subscribe. Leave a comment too, let me know what you thought about the video. More great content coming up soon. You guys take care and I'll see you soon.